Hello folks, uh, what should we do for uh, quant revision? And so what should, how should we revise quant the last uh, 10 days or so? And first of all, very, very important. Now is the time to absolutely hone in on your strengths. And completely set aside your weaknesses. Ignore them. First of all, it's not a feel good thing to look at one topic where you're not doing well. When now we need to feel good. So double down on your strengths. And now is absolutely the time to say, if out of 10, my level of competence in different topics are 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Focus on 7, 8, make it 8, 9. Focus on 9, make it a 10. Completely ignore 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stuff that you're not good at, ignore that. Tell yourself those questions won't come. And so, tactically, absolutely uh, uh, landing on, uh, on reinforcing strengths is the most important thing. No. Second thing, how do we revise? And so, if you go, uh, once you take a mock, you understand where the gap area is, you go to that specific topic to revise. And so, in the last lab, it was super helpful to revisit your own notes notebook. And so, kind of notes that you have written down, ideas that you have uh, put in, formulae that you have written. You should have maintained something like this till now. Revisit that pretty aggressively. And so, uh, when I create notes, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'm not really good at this, but when I create notes, there are different categories and that, that I use. One is, what is the formula that I need to know? So if you're doing in radius of a right angle triangle, I, you need to write down a plus b minus h by 2. That's important. And so uh, this, this set of formulae is what people start with. And so there's something to start with. And so immediately after that comes weird intangible things that uh, come in topics that we like standard mistakes that we tend to make and for me if it comes to geometry i'll scribble something like similar triangles because i know similar triangles i like similar triangles i understand it i get it but in a particular set of questions i don't think similar triangles i my brain doesn't tell me okay this question is based on similar triangles so I completely forget the existence of that idea. So I need to I need to keep that in mind. Likewise, when you're doing inequalities, you're writing down a bunch of rules, formulae, revisiting it, you talk about modulus. Say, okay, modulus has these kind of properties. I need to remember this. Then don't cancel x on both sides. Stuff like this. And so kind of mistakes that you frequently make, write that down. And so your revision notes for a topic should be fundas, formulae and stuff that I miss out on. And so you need to make ideas fresher in the brain. And so it's very, very important to list out, or take a pause and take a deep breath and list out different ideas that are going to come in a particular topic, how you will treat them, how you can uh, handle them, kind of mistakes you make that you should avoid how you should uh, stay on top of some techniques in that topic and then sign off on that topic. Right? So hypothetically, if you're doing it for profit and loss, saying I'm memorizing profit and loss, I would start by saying, okay, fractions, decimals, ratios. I need to think about this. I need to know when to think about what. I need to know that 25% Profit means 1.25, that means cost price to selling price ratio is 4 is to 5. That means I can write selling prices 5 by 4 times cost price. Nice. I know that. I know I can link these up in different ways. Then this forms the bedrock in terms of funda. I know profit by cost price into 100. I know the basic formula. I'm not going to write them down. I'm going to say, okay, this I need to keep in mind as a funda. Okay. Then there is mark price discount. Then there are questions where it comes with... Uh, equal selling price how will i deal that then there are questions with false weights then there are questions that come with mixtures and profit and loss yeah some stuff like this so this is what is going to broadly come in this topic i got this covered let me go to the next one right there you need to reinforce formulae write that down where you need to think about what mistakes i typically make I write them down I mean, when you, it's one process of recalling a set of ideas in a topic. If you have already scribbled this down for topic, then go through that and revise, revisit. And so, don't make the revision process too strenuous. Nothing should be in the category that tires you now. Should be relaxed and not, 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 not get carried away. 
don't make this over elaborate then it becomes like you're you're reading everything all over again you're trying to say look i got this i'm trying to bring this up to the top of my head where where it can, where it can be uh, more fresh and that that fund is very 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 important and so uh best wishes have a good go uh, in the last 10 days be well rested sleep well be hydrated take copious amounts of rest you've got to don't spend too much time learning new stuff build uh, confidence and feel good factor up now that is very important best wishes